Okay, well, let's get into the video that nobody asked for. <laughs> This is the video no one asked for. We're rolling. Hey everyone, it's Ariel. Welcome back to another video. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Today I'm gonna to talk about why I quit my job as a hairstylist. So for those of you who may not know, I am a licensed hairstylist, um, but I don't currently work in a salon. I did do hair for five years. And in December, 2019, just before 2020, um, I decided to quit completely doing hair all together. There are quite a few reasons why I decided to quit and quite a few things that led up to that point, but I'm just gonna kind of like generalize it all um, and just kind of explain how I was feeling and why I decided to quit. So yeah, I'll just stop rambling. Let's just get right into it. So I will start this video by saying hairstyling was something that I always wanted to do. Um, I had some people in my family that were hairdressers and it always just seemed like something I would enjoy doing. I just felt, I don't know, I always just felt compelled to go into that industry. So right after high school, I went into cosmetology school and took the hairstyling course, graduated within a year of full-time classes, got a job shortly after, and then started working full-time pretty much from there for five years. I did work in two separate salons. I worked in both of them for about the same amount of time, like two and a half years each. But basically, um, once I started working at the first salon, I was loving it. I was so excited to just be working like in a salon. And that's when I started to feel like kind of like a real hairdresser, even though I wasn't really doing a lot of hair. I was kind of more of like an assistant for the first little while. But as soon as I started getting clients, I was really honestly loving it. And over time, you start to realize that it's really not an easy job. Um, I think every job has its challenges, but you don't really know to the full extent how those challenges are going to be for you until you're in it. At least that's what I think. And so I started to kind of realize like, oh, this is actually a pretty physically demanding job and also mentally. And I am a very introverted person. So that was always challenging for me, like having to be just open with people all the time was something that I really wasn't used to. Um, I've always been like that person that's just kind of in their own bubble. I have like walls this high around me. Um, so that definitely took some getting used to. And I think over time, like maybe a year or so into it, um, I started getting really tired. Like it's just such a physically and mentally and emotionally draining job. Honestly, um, you're standing all the time. You're sometimes you have such a packed schedule from beginning to end that you can't even like sit down, take a lunch break. And there's pros to that because then, you know, you're you're staying busy, you're making money. Um, it's good to be busy, of course. Can't complain about that. Um, but it just, it takes its toll on you. And I think I started realizing that pretty soon into it, especially just with my personal, like my personality type um, being kind of more introverted um, and reserved, I guess it was hard but i also still really enjoyed it and i was still learning um it was still exciting and then fast forward about the two year mark of working at the first salon i started to realize that i wasn't enjoying the work environment of that particular salon um, and i just started to really notice a decline in my mental health um, i think just with everything together like with just drama and toxic work environment and just being like literally exhausted every day. I started to think like, maybe this is not for me. Uh, maybe I need to leave. Like, I honestly wasn't sure if I needed to quit doing hair altogether or just go to a different salon. So I decided now's the time to go to a different salon and just see if you still enjoy the work. Um, maybe it's just the environment that's kind of bringing you down. So that's what I did. I decided to go to a new salon. Um, I found an amazing salon that I loved working at uh, and I worked there for another two and a half years about. Um, and I started noticing some of the same things. It was definitely a lot better um, of an environment than the first place I was at. So I was happy there. I really liked all my coworkers. My manager and bosses were amazing. I was definitely happy that I made the switch. Then probably about two years into the second salon um, is when my boyfriend got a new job, a pretty 
pretty big deal job. It was a big opportunity and we ended up having to move for this job. We moved about an hour and a half away to start this new kind of chapter, I guess. And so that definitely pulled me away from my uh, salon job that I was at. So that's when I decided, okay, well, I do still like working here. So maybe I can just commute to work. So I talked to my manager and I was like, unfortunately we're moving um, an hour and a half away. Um, but I still want to work here, so can I maybe work, you know, less days a week um, and I'll just commute. So that's what I did. Um, I shortened my schedule from five days a week to three days a week um, and just longer days so that I could, you know, get more more clients in each day and then not have to drive in as many days a week. I commuted three days a week and then eventually it turned into two days a week. Um, but I commuted for a year, an hour and a half there and then an hour and a half back. It was crazy. And that was just really hard for me because I was, honestly, I was pretty optimistic about it at the beginning. And I was kind of trying to keep it like hush hush with my clients because I didn't want them to think I was leaving. Um, Cause I wasn't, that wasn't my plan. Um, I was gonna stay, but slowly it just started getting out. Cause when you have a client that you see over and over and over they eventually start to learn things about you and about your life um so they ask questions and eventually i was like i can't keep this a secret like this is kind of a big part of my life like i moved and i don't live here anymore so it was like i felt like i had to tell them i just felt very like deceptive like i was lying about not living in the same place i don't know it was this whole thing so eventually they found out and then they started saying like oh you're gonna leave i'm gonna see this person next and blah 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 a lot of people were just really negative about it and that started to really <laughs> kind of hurt me too because i was telling them like no i'm not gonna leave i'm here you know i'm just not gonna work as many days but i'm still gonna work here you're still gonna get your hair done by me a lot of them insisted that no i know you're gonna leave that's way too long to drive blah 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 and i mean and then they were right because i quit um, but I feel like they kind of like pushed me away too at the same time. Not that it's their fault at all, that's not what I'm saying. But like, it started getting in my head like, yeah, this is a long time to drive. Why am I doing this? Like, you're right, I shouldn't be here. So it kind of got into my head and I started thinking like, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Like, I remember seeing the kilometers going up from driving so many hours in the day. It just started like feeling just very, it just started feeling very heavy. It just felt like I was trying to be in two completely different places at once um, because, okay, I didn't say this, but with this new job that my boyfriend got, I actually was working with him part-time. So on the days that I wasn't at the salon, I was working with him. Um, so it just was feeling like I was trying to be in two completely different places at the same time. I mean, it was alternating days, but it just felt like I was being like tugged here and then pulled here and then it was just too much. And another thing with the commuting is that it was so hard to be on time. Like I, I was always late because I had to leave an hour and a half before I started to get there on time. So it was like just crazy having to leave early in the morning and it was just a lot. And I also got a puppy during this time. Don't ask me why, I was crazy. Oof. So yeah. Um, it just started to feel very chaotic and like I just just felt like I can't do this anymore. And that mixed with my initial feelings of maybe I don't want to be a hairstylist. Maybe this isn't the right field for me because um, I always kind of had that in the back of my head. I just always kind of felt like I didn't fit in with the industry. So the commuting and the fact that I moved so far away definitely made it easier to leave. Um, it, it gave me a reason to leave, I guess, um, more than just, I don't know if I wanna do this. Cause like I said, there's a lot of good things about being a hairstylist and I did really enjoy a lot of it. Um, it's just, I always kind of felt like maybe, you know, maybe there's something else I should be doing. And I kind of got to a point where I was like, I guess it's kind of now or never. Like I either keep commuting three hours a day or I do something else um, closer to where I live. So. Ultimately, I decided to quit. Um, it was so sad. It was actually like heartbreaking to leave because I felt like that was kind of like my place, you know? Like I felt so much more comfortable in that salon than I did in the first one. So I was really sad to leave that environment and those people. But I think I also was going through a lot and I didn't really realize it until the end um, and the good thing about driving so long was that I had a lot of time to like process some 
trauma that I went through and I was just going through a lot that I never told anyone about. I never talked about it, but maybe that's for a different video. And I mean, I was young, like I started doing hair when I was uh, 19 and then quit when I was 24, I guess. So it was a lot for someone that age, I felt like, um, cause I was like full into my career by like 20, 21, I would say. Um, I already had like a full clientele. I was living on my own or with my boyfriend and just full into my career, like a few years after high school. So it was, it was a lot. And then I kind of realized that I had a lot of things that I needed to deal with internally, like personal things. And it was just a hard time. It sounds dramatic. Like I hate saying that, but that, that's how it felt. So overall, I would say that the fact that I moved away was a big reason for quitting because I don't know if I wouldn't have moved, I might not have quit. But I also remember telling myself it's now or never, like you're either going to keep doing hair for the rest of your life or you quit now and try something new. And if that doesn't work out, you can always go back because I still have my license and I can always renew it and start doing hair again. So, so yeah, I decided to take the plunge, take the risk and try something new. And now here I am making videos and I've honestly learned so much in this last like year or so, year, year, year and a bit since I quit just about myself and kind of what I want in life. And it's been really eye opening for me, honestly. And I would say I'm happy that I quit because the truth is you never know, you never know until you do it, you know? So, but yeah, um, I feel like this video was a mess, <laughs> but hopefully, um, you liked it. Hopefully it helped you learn a little bit more about me, even though you didn't ask. Uh, but yeah, that is kind of my journey and my story as a hairstylist and why I ultimately decided to quit. Um, will I go back in the future ever? I don't really see myself going back, um, unless the opportunity presents itself and I can have my own salon. It's always kind of been a dream of mine, but I also have a lot of other goals I want to reach before that. Um, and it would take a lot to be able to actually open up my own salon. So maybe in the future, but right now I'm pretty happy with just what I'm doing, um, kind of blogging and making YouTube videos. But yeah, that's my story and my experience as a hairstylist. Um, hopefully you liked the video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, also leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Also let me know if you want to see anything else kind of on this topic. Like if you guys want to know more about the industry and like how it works, I could make a video on that. Um, or kind of like the pros and cons of being a hairstylist. Um, this video was kind of more just like my experience and my journey. So let me know um, your thoughts and that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.